Hello, my name is Scott Thompson, and these are the celebrities I look like. First off, actor-comedian John Ritter. <laughs> Second, singer, environmentalist, whatever happened to John Denver. Third, actor and NRA spokesperson, Charlton Heston. Fourth, actor, singer, director, Jentel Streisand. And finally, serial killer, Jeffrey Dahmer. Enjoy the show. I'll go see who it is. Ah, oh, Christ. Who is it, dear? It's nobody important, dear. Go back to sleep. Listen, I'll let you in, but you have to be quiet, okay? We were supposed to meet in High Park, Jerry. I was waiting for you under a pile of leaves by the public laboratories, just like we agreed. Look, I'm sorry, but you've You just... never came, Jerry. I know, but you've got to try. I waited a month, you prick. Look, don't call me that. Just don't call me that, okay? What's going on out there? Nothing, hon. Just an old army buddy's dropped by. You go back to sleep, dear. Look, you've got to keep your voice down. But Jerry. Look, my name isn't Jerry. It's Lister. And your name isn't Jerry either. It's Jean-Pierre. Don't be silly, Jerry. That's a French name. Yes. And before you became chemically unbalanced, you were a respected French mime instructor. Jerry, you are clearly insane. No, I am clearly not insane. You are the clearly insane one. Jerry, I'm not clearly insane. I'm your sister, damn it. I'm your sister. Now, quick, put these on before you catch your death. Honey, you were never in the army, were you? No, I know you're right. No, I, I, was, I was never in the army, but... Uh, my friend was in the army when we became friends, and I don't think there's any rule that says you have to actually be in the army in order to have an army buddy. Is there? Am I wrong about this? Uh, no, I guess not. Well, great. Then I'd really like you to meet my pal, Sarge. Sarge, I'd like you to meet Judy. Judy Sarge. So why don't you go back to bed now, hon? Everything's okay. Okay, I guess I'll... Nice meeting you, Sarge. Jerry, who was that strange man? That's my wife, Judy. Can't you see that I have a whole life here now? Jerry, what's happened to you? I started to take the medication. It works. It really works. You should try it. You could go back to being a French mime. Jerry, you're frightening me. Oh, come on, Jean-Pierre. Don't you miss it? Walking against the wind? Or, or the box, huh? Or the, the flying bird. Quick, Jerry, get out of that box before that bird pecks your eyes out. <laughs> there is no bird. I was just miming you, prick. 
Very good to see you. No, 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 no. You just upset me. You've just got me a little bit rattled. All I need to do is take my pills and I'll be fine. That's all right. I'll just get it. Look, look jump, jump, Pierre, give me those pills back. But I don't have them, Mr. Lister. Look, just give me those pills, all right? Look, would you give me the pills? I mean it. Right? <laughs> give me my damn pills. Monkey in the middle. Oh, shit. <laughs> Give me the damn pills. You know who has them? Me, but this scene, I'm not kidding, kidding you. Sweet gypsy red. I want those pills. Here's them. And I want them. No, Brick! She's got rings on her fingers <laughs> and bells on her toes. Jenny! Jenny! Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Quickly, Jenny. Quickly. We must get back into training for the 76 Olympics. <laughs> Good idea, Jenny. You're a genius. On the road again. Just, Just can't, can't wait. wait. To get back on the road again. Want to hear something? It's a fact. If you don't clean your ears properly, you pay for it later. Dirty boy. Dirty boy. Mm. Dirty boy. Uh. Wash your ears, you dirty boy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You really need to spend two or three hours daily on cleaning your ears. It's a fact. Yeah, very nice, very nice. You know, recently, I had a heart attack. And for several minutes, Mrs. Zippy Gary was clinically dead. And I was falling a white night to heaven. Now, when I got there, I was given a choice of 17 door. Now, behind the first door was a rose, which signified... Never mind that. An angel of the Lord then came to me and gave me a seven-sided die, which he bade me to roll 12 times. Now, the first roll was a four, which means that the four corners of the world... Well, never mind that. Eventually, I was brought in front of God himself. Now, God was sitting up on a bar stool with an old beat-up guitar. And he said to me, Miss Zippy Gary, you is not to be dead yet. Because I want you to take this here song and play it for all my children on the planet Earth. <laughs> so I learned this song, and it meant so very much to me. So I'd like you all at home to turn on your VCRs so you can learn it and study it. The words of God. One, two. Smoking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. <laughs> Smoking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. I'm running up a flag without a pole. I'm walking on a shoe without a sole. Smoking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. Okay, now here comes lesson one. You can't cook an egg unless you got yourself a frying pan. You know the truth. You can't cook an egg unless you got yourself a frying pan. You shouldn't rob a bank without a plan. You shouldn't use your tongue to stop a fan. Walking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. Now here comes lesson number two. Shouldn't want to do it if you don't want to not do it right. Yes, sir. ebe dabba doo ba dabba doo ba dabba doo All right. I ain't making this up. You don't go dancing in the day. You don't go golfing in the night. Smoking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. Yeah. Smoking on a night train, chewing on a jelly roll. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Can do with that. This is gonna be great. Well, you've been following me around for three days now. What's your problem? You're Al Scagnetti, aren't you? 
How do you know? Well, I'm just a big fan of yours. What? I just really love your work, Mr. Scagnetti. Thanks. Yeah, I find your approach so thorough. Your arm sweep so dignified. I find it also cleansing, childlike, yet mournful. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I live at 10702 Brayside Drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that route. You do? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I think I even remember your garbage. No. Yeah. I uh, used to have bottles. Yeah. Cans. Yeah. Uh, garbage bags. Yeah. And various paper products. Am I right? Yes. That is my garbage. So, why are you uh, following me around the neighborhood? Well, Al, I want what's best for my family, so I'm going to buy a house on your route. Well, uh, you know, I'm just a garbage man. I lift garbage. That's what I do. No, Al. I've seen a lot of good, even great garbage men. But you're, you're the best. You really think I'm good, huh? No, I don't. What? Actually, I think you're horrible. What? Al, I'm with the city and there have been several complaints that you are very slow and often leave garbage behind. I'm putting you on probation. Vanilla Ice's career crashed so badly that he's back to selling vanilla ice cream. You want a cherry on that? Wow. Life is an ironic river, isn't it? It's a fact. Hey, tell me about it. It's a grout out there. There's no pot anywhere. What, my plant? Smoked it. Hey, of course it should be legal. Yeah. Look, if Christ had turned straw into pot instead of water into wine, we'd all be smoking up a communion. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Okay, see you, Mom. Money. Money, 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 Hey, Bauer, long time no see, eh? I'm busy. So, you on a break? Yeah. I can't smoke inside anymore, you know, because it's a new law, eh? Oh, yeah? Unless I want to put it into my act. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that because uh, I like to keep both hands free for the snake, you know? Yeah. Oh, is a snake. Oh, it's good. Oh, how's your mom? She's good. Her arm grew back. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, uh... What? What is it? What? Oh! Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I've got some, uh, I've got some crack and I've got some coke and I've got some crank and some smack and, and some, uh, ecstasy. What would you like, some ecstasy, huh? Yeah, yeah. You don't got any pot, do you, you know? A little bit of, you know, uh, you know Bauer, don't be so naive, huh? There's no pot anywhere. 
You know why, eh? It's the man. The man. He keeps the leaf off the street because the leaf promotes peace, and peace isn't profitable. Unless it's a piece of ass, eh, Bob? Huh? <laughs> What'd you say, huh? What you do tonight, huh? You no. some, you, are you busy tonight? <laughs> there was some dancing in there, Jocelyn. I haven't seen moves like that since Sally Rand came to town. Oh, I've seen you. You're such a pig. All right, everyone. I'll let you out for the warning this time. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hey, officer. Things pretty quiet today, eh, sir? Yes, citizen. All the bad people are asleep, waiting for the dark. So you feel better now, huh? I fix you up. You feel better now, huh? Huh? You feeling good now, eh? Uh, huh? Yes. My ulcer is much better now. Yes, wasn't she hot? Oh, I got to go, Val. Okay. You take good care of that hair, huh? All right. Okay. Jocelyn with her pesky steak, Latoya. <laughs> so, officer, you got an ulcer, do you? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yes, my ulcer. Bad ulcer, yes. Oh, I know how that is, eh? Because I got an ulcer myself. Although maybe it's just an itch. Who knows? All I know is that what I use to scratch it is pot. You know? Teach his own free country, all that jazz. I was just wondering if you know where I could get some ulcer medicine. Well, I uh, hear there's a pharmacy. Pharmacy at uh, 333 River. Oh, don't tell me what I told you here. Okay. Take care of that ulcer, eh? Okay. What else? Police! Open up! Password. Gotta get high. How about it? Hello? Hello there. Oh! <gasps> okay, okay, Bauer. Just chill. Hey. What's this? Hey. How did you do that? You don't want to know. Come on in. Oh. Oh. Okay, Bauer. Hey guys. Two, set, gunny pot. Oh hi. Oh god, am I glad to see you? Do you got any pot? No way. It makes me red. Hi. Uh, you guys got any pot? No, but try some junk. It's absolutely free. Promotional offer. No, I, I don't want any junk. I, I just want some pot, you know? <laughs> like, uh, I... Get with the New World Order, man. There's no more pot on the earth anymore. The government destroyed it all, man, in order to protect the oil companies. Yeah, why? Because... Marijuana seeds can be made into a fuel more efficient than gasoline. And the government doesn't like that. And who controls the government? The oil companies. Exactly! And who controls the oil companies? I don't know. Satan! Hey, I know who you are. You're the devil. President, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you, Bauer. 
How would you like to always be high? That'd be great. But you can't have my soul. Don't need it. Got enough. I ain't gonna fuck you. Listen, I don't want your body. I want your jacket. Oh, I love this jacket. Yeah. Why? Well, I'm starting a new rock and roll band. We call ourselves the Noodles, you know, yeah. uh, Bad Company, Early T-Rex, stuff like that. Kind of and I need something to wear on stage. And this jacket is the talk of the underworld. Okay, deal. But what do I get? Come here. Enjoy. Wow. Primo. Thank you, Satan. Was it worth it, Bauer? Oh, yeah. You know, Terrence, a great jean jacket just takes time, right? The brain cells have gone forever. Dope? Oh, no. My dad says dope is for dopes. Although he only says it when he's, you know, drunk. Your dad's a wise man, Terrence. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Smart dude. Toronto, are you ready for the noodles? One, two, three.